Happy New Year, Munson. Welcome to the January edition of What's New at your Munson Free Library. Just wanted to open with a little joke, if you know me. My eyes are kind of bad. Uh, so it's the first time I can see 2020. I'll be saying that all year, by the way, and I will be appearing at the library. Anyway, Happy New Year. I hope you all have had a great holiday season and, and you're ready to kick off this year with a bang. Um, I wanna start by telling you we have a great program coming up. I know a lot of you have asked for it and we're bringing him back. It's been over five years since he's been at the library, but pastel artist Greg Mayshack is back on January 11th. It is a Saturday. It is a pastel painting workshop from 10.30 until 12.30. Um, you'll be painting, uh, pastel painting the miracle flower it's based on a mural by georgia o'keefe and of course greg provides all the supplies tells you some stories about georgia o'keefe and shows you how to create your very own pastel painting that you will take home with you of course there is registration for this uh, please go to our website munsonlibrary.com uh, calendar of events please register in advance i know there'll be a waiting list for this one I also want to thank our local Munson Cultural Council for funding this program. Um, we're very excited to bring it back for you and, um, and I hope it gets filled up. He's a great artist and he teaches so well and you will go home with a beautiful flower to hang on your wall. So again, January 11th, go to our calendar of events to register. Also, I want to remind you, we're still doing G Kong. We had a couple of uh, snowstorms and holidays in the way, but Randy is back and better than ever, ready to ease you into the new year. Um, since we're closed on, uh, we close early on New Year's Eve, uh, the next Tuesday will be January 7th. So G Kong, January 7th. You all know Randy works for the highway department. If there's a snowstorm, um, I try to send out emails to everyone that's given me an address. Um, please check our Facebook page. It will be on there whether he will be there or not in, in case there's a storm. Um, so just keep an eye on the weather, but otherwise he is ready to go. And we'll see you on January 7th at 6 p.m. for the next G Kong. Of course, Appetite for Art, one of my favorite groups, and uh, I, I wish you'd give it a try. It's usually the third Wednesday of every month at noontime. We call it Appetite for Art. Feel free to bring, bring a brown bag lunch. We talk about art. We talk about different artists, different genres. Um, right now, we're kind of doing the timeline of art, and we are up to Impressionism now. So if you are at all interested, there are no wrong answers. Don't be afraid. We all learn something. It's always a great discussion. So that is Wednesday, January 22nd at noontime. Um, also, Scrabble Night, always the fourth uh, Tuesday of every month at 6 p.m., and that will be January 28th. Everyone is always welcome to that. Um, I want to remind you, we don't have a friends meeting or a bake sale this month. Our friends have been so busy at the end of the year and with their bake sales, with the bus trip, with the, the craft fair. So they're taking January off, but I really do want to thank, th thank the friends for all they have done for the library. Um, you support your friends, the friends support your library. Um, they have been very generous. They do fund many of our programs. So thank you very much to the friends. We've had a great great year. Um, well, that is all that we have going on, but I want to say that isn't really all. We're very excited for uh, 2020. It is the 30th anniversary of, of the new wing um, in 2020, and we're, we're going to be celebrating all year. We also have some great programs coming up. I'm still working on the scheduling, but there'll be a lot of surprises for you, so please stay tuned. And I really do hope your New Year's resolution is to stop by the library a little more and see what we have to offer you. See you at the library. Hi, I'm Sandy Courtney. I'm the Youth Services Librarian at the Munson Free Library, and I'm happy to wish you a happy new year. I hope that your holidays were filled with all the things that make you happy. We were incredibly fortunate this year once again to have our special holiday story time, and we'd like to give a huge shout out to Senator Gobi and Representative Brian Ash 
for really bringing their A game this year. They were so much fun. And we had a full house up in the DeSantis room. And it was just, it was a great way to celebrate the holiday season. So we're very grateful to Senator Gobi and Representative Brian Ash for continuing this tradition with us. We've also in the last several years been really fortunate to welcome the Girl Scouts and Daisies and Brownies from Munson to come and sing with us to start off that holiday story time. And of course, the friends of the library who are always so supportive to everything we do. Uh, donated some amazing baked goods and treats. So everyone went home sugared and in the holiday, series, uh, holiday spirit. So thank you to everyone who helped make that such a fun, fun way to end the year. New year means new beginnings, and we are very excited to have some really new programming starting at the Munson Free Library. We were the only library in all of Massachusetts to be awarded a grant from Prenda, an uh, organization that teaches computer coding uh, and computer programming to kids. We won a grant to start a code club for kids ages 8 to 18, and we will be getting that started hopefully in February. This month is all about planning and training, and I actually got to participate in a two-hour webinar um, right before Christmas with uh, other grantees from all over the country and it was just so neat to see what kind of technology is available to us and I can't wait to share it with the kids of Munson. So keep your eyes open, uh, keep an eye on our website at MunsonLibrary.com, keep an eye on our Facebook page uh, because we will have updates soon about what that club's going to look like and how we're going to roll that out. We're also incredibly grateful that this year we have a little extra technology money in our budget. So we are going to be investing in some technology to be used in the library for both this program and for other technology needs for kids and adults. So there's a lot happening at the Munson Free Library and there is a lot of planning and training happening this month uh, to get us ready. So we can't wait to share it all with you. So of course all this training and planning is gonna take some time. So for the first couple weeks of January, we will not have baby time and story time, but we will get those programs rolling again the week of January 20th. So we look forward to seeing you then. Of course, our preschool story time will continue to happen on Wednesday mornings at 1030, and that's for all kiddos, generally about ages two, two and a half and up. We sing songs and we share stories and do programs and activities that are related to our theme of the week. And there is no registration for story time. We just encourage folks to drop by when they can make it. Of course, on Fridays, we do Bounce and Rhyme Baby Time, my favorite day of the week. That's for the Littlest Library fans. Uh, it's on Fridays at 1030, and that's for babies up to age two, so babies and toddlers. And it's a little less structured. We basically spend about 15 to 20 minutes in a circle singing songs and sharing rhymes with shakers and scarves, and then we break out our toys and we play. No registration for baby time or story time. We just encourage you to make it whenever you can. It's a great way to get out of the house in these cold winter months and get the kids out and give you a chance to talk to other adults too if you've been home with a little one. It's uh, that time of year. So we hope to see you at the library soon. Thank you so much as always for continuing to support your Munson Free Library and we wish you the happiest new year.